San Diego's Old Globe is no stranger to adversity. Its theater burned to the ground in 1978, but rose from the ashes to open again. And its namesake, Shakespeare's Globe Theater, faced closure because of the Black Death, says artistic director Barry Edelstein. I've been turning to Shakespeare a lot, and uh, not just because the writing is so glorious and beautiful and and uplifting and and happy-making, but also because he's a theater artist who knew what it was like to have his theater shut down by disease. It happened multiple times during Shakespeare's career, and you know what? The theater's always reopened. But unlike the original Globe Theater, the one in San Diego has technology at its disposal to put programming online while the theater itself is shuttered. So very quickly, the Globe put up arts engagement programs, like Behind the Curtain, artistic output with act breaks, and humanities programming like its online book club. But not every theater company has a Shakespearean scholar in-house. But Edelstein is one, and he's offering an online version of his Thinking Shakespeare, demonstrating how to bring Shakespeare's language to life by looking to his sonnets. Sonnet 29, we're going to go one line at a time, we're going to hit the verbs, we're going to use the antitheses, we're going to find that simile at the end. These are all programs run by the Old Globe, but the theater is also participating in a nationwide program called Play at Home to commission playwrights to create 10-minute plays. These are not plays that would ever be produced. And in fact, the instructions to the playwrights were, don't worry about having it produced. So if you want suddenly 15 unicorns to come running through, do it. So set a courtroom in the jungle and and have some of the animals not just uh, exhibit humanistic behaviors, but also animalistic behaviors, you know. So uh, that's what I did. Playwright Gil Sotu came up with the terrible case of Miss Locks. All right. So what it's about is a uh, baby bear is put on trial uh, because he attacked and ultimately killed Goldilocks. Uh, she was intruding in the house, but she was an intruder. So that's what the trial is about, whether it was murder or whether it was just, you know, defending his home. His play, along with many others, can be downloaded for readings at home. But of course, we should give Shakespeare the last word here. So long as men can breathe or eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee. And that this refers to Shakespeare's poetry in that case, but I'm going to use it to refer to theater. So long as men can breathe or eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee. I can't improve on Shakespeare, so... Beth Agamondo, KPBS News.